Hey you guys, so please just take a second to look over this graphic if you need a refresher on how to size your hats or how the layout for increases goes. My six millimeter hook. And we are just going to make our magic circle and chain two. We will now, so that's the circle and that's the chain two. We will now work 11 double crochets into that magic circle. Eleven double crochets. Then you're going to pull to close that center circle. So I'm slip stitching into the first double crochet that I made, which is going to count around as eleven stitches. Chain two. Now, this point is very important. So what I want to go over is the difference between a stitch and a, a post. A post is a part of a stitch. Um, they are not the same. There are ways to manipulate it so that you use the post as a stitch. But for the purposes of working increases, you need to understand the difference between the two. So up here, these are all stitches. Each one of these stitches has a post attached to it. So for this one, it would be, this is a post. For this next round, what we will be doing is working two posts, front post double crochets around each of the sp spokes around. You will not be working into the stitches at no point. So this chain two, the very first post, this chain two that you did as soon as we joined the magic circle that's directly under this chain two, that is where we're going to work our first set of two front posts. One, two. We will then work two front posts, double crochets around each post all the way around. It's going to feel awkward because they're tight, but you need to work two front post double crochets around each post one and two one and two and two so far you can see i have about half done two front post double crochet around each one of your um, post, the post of each stitch, I should say. This is going to double that original magic circle plus the stitches we worked into the circle. It's going to double that number. The reason I only had you do 11 double crochets into the center of the circle is because at the beginning of this round, what we did was work around that chain two, which is going to ensure that we end up with 24 post front post double crochet stitches at the end of this round. And we are going to check after every single round. Um, anytime you're working with the magic circle, my advice is that no matter how comfortable you get, with making um hats that you always especially during your increase rounds in order to get to the size of the crown of the head is that you always i always 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 count my stitches because that is where most mistakes occur so and i always do it before i slip stitch before i join the round so this i'm done with working two front post double crochets around each of the posts from my last round and just so that you can see how it looks on the back and this occurs from working those front post double crochets, this ring right here. So that was our original magic circle and those were the 11 stitches we worked into it. And now we're gonna count the number of stitches that we have. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. I will now slip stitch to the top of the first front post double crochet that I worked, which is right here, and chain two. Now we are on round three. So this middlemost point is round one. This row of nothing but front post double crochets is round two. For round three, Remember, our increase pat, uh, our stitch sequence in order to get our increases is going to be one, two, one, two. We're going to repeat that all the way around. And that's going to lead us to having 36 stitches when we're done. Now, what I was saying about how your posts are not stitches, what I mean is when so for instance the written pattern that i'm doing for this is going to refer to the post and it's going to refer to the stitch with the increases for this hat it is important to know the difference so that when you're doing your count the way that i do my count is i count just like i wrote it on the paper so if i need to do one two i'm going to show you how i do the sequence that i repeat all the way around this row so i'm going to work into the same stitch i'm going to work one double crochet into the stitch i'm going to work a double crochet into the next stitch i'm going to work a front post double crochet onto this same stitch so remember the front post is a part of the stitch this will serve as our increase if we were just doing a straight hat we would simply work two stitches into this stitch and that would be our increase because we are trying to lead to this pattern we are going to strategically place these posts and use them as our increases. So one, and then this will count as two stitches because I'm working two different double crochets. And remember the ultimately when we go back to count our stitches, this is all we're going to be counting. We're not going to be counting what we did to get these stitches. We're simply going to count our stitches. So now I have completed a sequence of one, two, and remember, the stitch sequence is one, two, one, two, all the way around. So now I'm going to work, sorry, I'm going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and I'm going to work two. The first half of that two is going to be one double crochet into the stitch and the second part of that increase is going to be onto this post and that's going to be a front post double crochet. Repeat again, one, and two. So one, two, one, two. One, two. As I stated, at the end of every single round, you should absolutely check your stitch count. For this row, we should have 36 stitches. Three, 36. 36 is this stitch, and that's the one that I'm gonna slip stitch into. This is what I have on the front side. I wanna show you guys what it looks like on the back. You can see that it's still flat. Again, we're gonna chain two. Our next increase sequence is going to be one, one, two. And we're gonna repeat that all the way around. Again, one, one, two. And this is going to lead to us having 48 stitches. We are going to, from the chain two, we are going to double crochet into the first stitch. And that's one. Remember, the sequence is one, one, two. We 
we are going to so this is my first stitch and ours is one one two in order to end up with 24 posts or 24 spokes you are going to do a front post double crochet around the next stitch so this is my second one so one one for the next one for the two you're going to do two things you're going to work into this stitch where you see my nail that's your stitch and you're also going to work a front post double crochet around the post of that same stitch so there's your double crochet and then there's your front post double crochet so again it's one one two the difference is that your second one is going to be around it's going to be a front post double crochet so one one and then your increase is going to be into the stitch and a front post double crochet one one and two and like we did before we are going to count our stitches we should have here's what the work looks like you guys I have not slip stitch I always count my stitches before I slip stitch and I usually start from wherever I, I drop my hook um, and then go backwards it not that it matters I think that's just a preference thing but at this point I should have 48 stitches now i will slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet that i worked for that round and chain two so for this next round the increased sequence that we will be working in repetitions around will be one two well one 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 two so this is the repeat that we will get to 60 that will get us to 60 okay so again that is one 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 two and that will be the stitch sequence this is, will be what we're repeating all the way around So this next round is pretty much going to be the same for each one of these. It's just going to produce different results. So again, our, our first one. So one, we're going to double crochet into the same stitch. One, two. I need to pull some yarn. Okay, sorry. So at, for this one with the 24 spokes, everywhere that there's a spoke, which is pretty much going to be, I wanna kinda give you dynamics. You wanna place a spoke. So this is our first one, right? We're not gonna put a stitch here. So one, two is gonna be that spoke. Three is going to be a stitch. And then four is going to be our increase. Okay, so the fourth one, you're going to work a stitch and then you're going to work a front post on that same stitch. You're going to work a double crochet around the post of that same stitch. So that's your increase. That means I want to show you guys. So this is one. This post is two. This stitch is three. Then this is our increase. So one, 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 two. That's our repeat all the way around. The biggest thing to make sure of is this is a post that's sticking up and that's a post is that you're working around your post. So again, we are going to do one, 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 and then increase. 
work a double crochet into the stitch, work a post, a front post double crochet onto the post of that same stitch. That's your increase. So one, 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 two. One, one, mm, that was wrong. One, one, and two. One, one. One and two. And you're going to continue that repeat all the way around. Okay. One. One. One, two, one, one, and two, one. One, 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 and two. One and last but not least, two. That's what we have, you guys. So I'm going to count my stitches. This is round five, and five times 12 is 60. So I should have 60 stitches because my last uh, round for both of these, I had 48. So, sixty stitches. And actually, so here's what I'm going to do. So that's sixty stitches, and here's how the spokes look. Okay. Let me see if I have my ring light close. <sighs> that makes it any clearer. I just want to take it around so you guys can see the stitches. Because this, through my camera, it looks really bright. I don't know how bright it looks for y'all, but that's what we have. And it's 24 spokes around, okay? This. you're not increasing anymore and so what that means is that you are going to do a post onto every post and you're going to do a stitch into every stitch um so 
you will work into this stitch excuse me you will work a post here you will work into this stitch you will work into this stitch and then a post and then into this stitch so you would literally just align your um, post to your post and you align your stitches to your stitches you want to do 10 additional rounds of your hat the part two will resume at the end of those 10 rounds.